guys, I am Chris Kaler. And I'm Amber Fossa Kajin Cosplay. And tonight, we're back with you guys with Fight Zero. Episode yeah, yeah. 3. <laughs> so, last episode, we uh, saw the last summoners, the, the last Maggie, were yeah. chosen for the Holy Grail War. <laughs> He's a murderer. And one of them is a psychopath. Well, we saw the last one. It was the yeah. only one we didn't know. Yeah. Uh, he, he kills people to try and... He, he killed people to try and see if demons were real. He's following his ancestor's journal, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, he comes from a family of, of people that used to make deals with the devil. And his summon <laughs> is not, not not only Bluebird. Bluebeard. Bluebeard, sorry. Bluebird is something else. Bluebird. Yeah. Akata eat! <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, Bluebeard. Yes. But... Is gonna follow him and learn how to kill more people. Yeah, he's just as creepy. Fuck. Uh, and I mean, he doesn't know the, the new summoner. Doesn't know. He's, he's called Uryu Ryunosuke. I tried. Ryunosuke. Uryu, like uh, in name. Bleach, <laughs> kind of. Anyway, I, I tried. I'm I'm starting to write names down because uh, I wanted to give myself a chance. And yeah. Anyway, uh, he doesn't know anything about the Grail. He doesn't know anything about this world. Um, He's gonna be in it for the fun of watching his spirit kill people. You just want blood. Yeah. More and more blood. So that's creepy, but it's gonna spice things up for sure in the war. Yes. As for the others, uh, well, we met, well, we met, we saw a little bit more of Arthur. Mm -hmm. uh, she seems to have a very similar goal uh, to, uh, as to her master, which I'm loving because he's a dad and it shows <laughs> he cares. Uh, so yes, I am supporting him for now. We saw the church guy use his spirit to test his partner's defenses somehow. I don't. We don't really know what happened. Like, he basically lied to his spirit so he would go and attack the Tosaka Manor, but he's supposed to be teaming up with Tokyomi Tosaka from the the south. Yeah. So uh, yeah, he lied to his spirit. The spirit got there, got killed by the archer. That was badass. But what happened? You're <laughs> willing to kill your spirit, which you, you worked hard to get, so what's yeah. up? <laughs> so we don't really know what's going on there, but we'll, heard, we'll learn more about it this episode, perhaps. And we saw uh, the Conqueror also with the kid. There's definitely, I mean, anyone who would watch, would see them in the street, would definitely be wondering who's the master, <laughs> you know? You'd be like, <laughs> you're the master? But, like, this guy has already proven that he's more badass than you are, kid, so you need a backbone and quick. Yeah. Hopefully the Conqueror can help him grow one, but uh, in the meantime, it's going to be interesting to see them interact with one another. All right. So that's about that's about it about what happened last episode. It's getting mm. late, so sorry about my accent and my English and how jittery I am today. It's fine. Yeah. Fine, fine, fine. We'll just jump in episode three, see if we can see more of the characters, more of the spirits, because I want to meet more of them and uh, start some fights, perhaps eventually. All right. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you want to know when these episodes come out, and check out our Patreon for the full reactions. Let's go. Yeah, let's watch it, guys. King of Heroes. Yeah. So did they just sacrifice that other spirit to establish this one's power? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Well, the grill, right? Yeah, that's a, most most spirits were kings in their day and their day, so they bring with them the superiority and the attitude. Yeah. <laughs> So he got that same attitude. He was in Stay Night? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Told, told you that you, uh, you remember him, remember him yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's the church guy. 
予定通りだ。They won't tell us what the plan is、yes. just yet. That's where it got annihilated for a plan that we don't know about yet. Yeah, the world changed your mind. <laughs> And you're gonna put them where? <laughs> He's still so stuck in his old ways. I think I like him. <laughs> so their attacks reflect stuff they used to do back then? That's pretty cool. <laughs> It's leaving a lot of things up to chance. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like a big brother, like teach him the way. You're so different. So now you can fully help the other one. That's part of the plan, but I'm. Hmm. So, is he gonna use that to do some shady stuff? Maybe. Considering his father is basically in charge. Yeah, he wants to do stuff. Oh my god. So, killing assassin was like a big smokescreen. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. <laughs> She looks so cool. Looks good on her. Very. And she does match a、uh, Kiritsugu style too. Yes. Yeah. 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 We did talk about this in episode one. People don't think that by. There are people behind the families、yeah. in this war. She technically knows everything about this world because of you know, what, what she is, but I like this. They're gonna be friends! Enjoy it! Come on! 
記録した映像です出来すぎのように思えますアサシンの侵入から遠坂のサーバントの攻撃までのタイムラグが短すぎます侵入者があることを承知していたのではないかと、うん、アサシンのマスターはどうなった昨夜のうちに教会に避難し監督役が保護下に置いた旨告知されましたアサシンのマスターは琴峰キルマイナ冬木教会に使い魔を払っておけ監督役の神父にバレないようギリギリの距離をうろつかせておけばいい Having guilt. If you don't get caught, who's that you not that t r y n o t for you? The rules. Well, he's being careful, and I like that. He is showing Gilgamesh and his abilities, killing assassin. That's that's all so they can take their eyes off of Kotomi Nekide and, and his other assassins.、Mm-hmm. They think he's out of the race, but he's not in, in, in it for himself, he's in it for his friend as master. Is that a cold?、Oh, he's really badass. This is good. Have you lost your touch? It's like a, the cold from Supernatural. Do you think that, that weapon can maybe kill spirits? Can't say I'm surprised. His, his wedding with his wife was arranged for the war and stuff. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Like, But he seemed to like her. Like her, yeah. I think he genuinely loves their daughter. But there's no mistake between the two that, you know, it's not love. It's, it's a partnership. I don't know. If it turns out that she didn't know about this, I'll be mad. We'll get to know. But, like, her master's not there, so enjoy, I guess. <laughs> Just go wild. <laughs> That's why you were right, Becca's gonna grow a backbone. <laughs> Waiting is part of war, but maybe choose where you wait more carefully. <laughs> oh, we get to have a fight next episode, probably. I've heard the soundtrack before. It's really good. <laughs> I was waiting to meet that spirit. Oh boy, okay, I shipped them. <laughs> Next episode! Now you push any episode. Shit. I like this very, very much. <laughs> Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I know that from the first episode that when we saw Kirutsugu and Iriziel, well, his wife, yeah, his wife. Uh, they seem to be fond of one another, but it is true that we learned that their marriage was. It's a partnership. They a partnership. chose them. Yeah, they chose them for the Holy Grail. Exactly. So you may be right that maybe he 
is in love, we used to be in love with somebody else from his past. Although there is a lot we don't know about him yet. Uh, his reasons or for killing that, mages. Or maybe that was just a kiss for luck, you know? When you're about to go and die, who knows? Come on. I think the fact that right after this, we had a conversation about, does he not enjoy spending time with you? Yeah. Mm. The thing is, we don't know anything about his past. Why he used to kill mages. Why he stopped. Mm -hmm. Why he accepted to marry his wife and join the family. Mm -hmm. We know he genuinely cares about his daughter. That I do not, you know, worry about that. Yeah. I think he's, he's a good friend to his wife. Like, I think they both care. But theirs is a partnership. I think she understands him. She said he's not, you know, he's not comfortable with the, the idea of being happy. He sees that as pain, painful. Mm -hmm. Maybe he lost something or someone when he was younger, you know, it, it, maybe he suffered when he was, uh, well, he suffered before. And so he doesn't want to continue a relationship with anyone. You know, I know he kissed that girl, that woman, but maybe he doesn't allow himself to be with her. And so he's okay with marrying someone he doesn't truly love because it's his duty. So he'd be fine with doing that because he doesn't want to get attached. Okay. I don't know. Like for that to be confirmed, we need to learn about his past first. I do think she understands him better than we might think. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she knows, you know, that he's been kissing other girls behind her back, <laughs> but I'm not sure it would matter, you know? Yeah. I think she knows a lot more about him and knowing those things probably explain a lot about what happened in this episode and, and mm -hmm. what he is and what how he's doing things. Maybe, you know, they have an understanding. Since none of them chose their future, their faith, they both got married for, for someone else's purpose. Like, maybe it's just a, a, it's an agreement between the two that we're married and we care, but... There's no erasing our past. There's no erasing what we're supposed to do. Uh, I'm still gonna, you know, I still have a love, uh, someone I love out there, mm -hmm. and I still care about her. But I'm gonna marry you for my duty, and because I I won't allow myself to have a relationship with that girl, that woman, instead, because of fucked up issues. We might learn more about it. Well, we're, we're probably gonna learn about it, but <laughs> so, let's so far give we us don't. some uh, blank space to. It just it came as a shock, though. Like it came as a shock because it did come as a shock because I thought that they were technically good. Well, they are technically good. It's just that they didn't marry because they love one another. Yeah. So we're just pushing that he, he has a past and he's got people he knew uh, that he seemed to be were that that worked with him before then. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's so much about his past that we don't know. <laughs> we're, I think we're going to stop guessing and, and wait for some answers. But, um, man, I don't know. It, it looks like he has a hard time connecting with his past. Like, he used to be someone, do some, do some stuff, and now everything has changed and he's got trouble reconnecting or making, you know, having his peace with what, what he did or what happened. I don't yeah. know. I still like the guy. I think uh, he's uh, he's cool and uh, I like his spirit. So, well, Saber. So, yeah, I'm I'm excited to learn more. What did you think about the friendship between uh, really Arthur and uh, Madame? I forgot her the name. Wife, the wife. So, just the wife. <laughs> I do like it. I think I ship it a little bit. <laughs> I think they're, they're going to be best friends uh, in this in this show at least like she's technically with her because they're you know the other masters are going to think that she's the master and he gets he gets to do what the church guy is doing with his his assassins play in the shadows you know make sure no one knows where he is and what he's doing so although some of the other masters know that he's one of the master you know so they know mm -hmm. they won't fall for this but others might so mm -hmm. there you go but um but I think it, it was it cute. It is nice that technically uh, both of them, they're women, and they couldn't enjoy life uh, growing up. Uh, maybe because she was uh, in a castle and she couldn't leave. And she had and Saber she, had responsibilities. That's right. Yeah. So it is nice that <laughs> during the Holy Grail War, both of them can enjoy life together. And well, just, they get to go out. Yeah. yeah. Although Saber doesn't really need it because she came here with the knowledge. But she's going to still enjoy it with yeah, her. Yeah, through this. Because I think she, the wife really needs it. Like, she needs to 
get that experience and enjoy it and just go all out for this this moment and i think because like you said they're both women and they were in similar situations uh arthur can kind of understand and she can uh help her experience life and through that she's also going to have her fun mm -hmm. so i think it's uh it's nice and it it makes us you know spend time with the wife and get to know her a little bit more and sure. we get to learn more about arthur because there's not there's no saying if she, I, I don't think she would tell as much about herself to uh, Kiritsugu. Kiritsugu. Yes. The names are right there, I, I'm telling you. <laughs> Just remember them. Yes, I know. It, it's going to happen eventually. She wouldn't maybe, because, I mean, he's a guy. He's her master. She's doing her duty when she's with him. He's very closed off. Like, he's not saying much about himself either. So, mm -hmm. I, if she was with him, I don't think Saber would say much about her life sorry guys it's late <laughs> and uh, so i'm glad that she's spending time with the wife because we get to learn more about the person behind a legend that's what i said last episode i love that you know all these spirits used to be humans and they all brought with them their passions their past their goals their attitude which is pretty cool <laughs> and we for some of them yeah like they know their spirit they know they have a job to do and they know that technically they used to be kings you know but now they have to serve someone else who hasn't proved himself or herself yet. So it's like, it's a huge change. And they are yeah. in the world they don't understand, they don't know. It's all new to them, but they have this chance and they brought with them the personality and they're going to keep that and show that. <laughs> and you see the different values of every spirit considering, you know, Arthur came from, you know, the age of knights and sh chivalry and... You know, you do your duty and stuff. So even though she was a kid, she's a kid, a king, she doesn't have the same arrogance as, let's say, the Conqueror or Gilgamesh. <laughs> so I feel like, you know, cons you know, whether you were a woman or a man, whether you were a king or a knight, whether you were from an era where you had all the power or an era mm -hmm. where duty mattered more than power, yeah. it's going to change their personalities. And I, I love this because it's like we're exploring many eras <laughs> through all the spirits. But yet, yeah, we need to remember that behind the legend and stuff, there used to be a human being. And I love that they brought that with them. So we get to see that with Saber, and I like it. Hmm? I like also the fact that basically their power, at least one of their main power, their phantasm, they called it. Yeah. Noble phantasm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's basically an ability inspired by a great deed they did before <laughs> so depending on what to happens be, to be frank i kind of forgot about that like i said it's been years Forever. years yeah since i've watched fate stay night like more than seven years ago yeah so i forgot a lot of information regarding um regarding the spirits powers abilities and what's the deal of the I mean, holy grail it's war. fine because i don't know anything about this it's nice but so. it's, it's fine because i'm learning relearning stuff about it so it's just great yeah and i mean it's a great world but it's a great system i think to be fair though if what uh the king conqueror writer said was correct technically they only got one and noble, noble yeah the noble fantasy i think they have right? yeah i think they can they have kind of kind of many abilities but noble phantasm they can only have one yeah and Gilgamesh technically use many different swords so yeah I think it's just you could use you know the throw of a spear as one ability I guess but his is more complex so it's not as easy as just throwing a spear I wonder what he did in his in his because life to have this ability <laughs> no spell just from what we saw he's pretty strong he was pretty strong in Fate Stay Night too, so I just don't well, remember. Well, he was. They called him because he was just technically the, the one king, king huge, of heroes. Yeah. yeah, but he he was really strong in Fate Stay Night. I don't remember what his ability was, but that's pretty dope. So well, he's throwing spears, <laughs> swords. Well, yeah. Well, it looked like a spear. Spe spears and swords. And we got another one with with a spear that yeah. just showed up. Yeah, I was so. I was. Uh, expecting him eventually i saw him in the ending and i was like oh he looks he looks fine <laughs> i'm excited to meet him i don't know when when he he was actually alive or, or who he is mm -hmm. or anything but i'm excited to learn more about all these other spirits i don't remember if depending of the bond with the summoner and the summon maybe they can become stronger well basically because uh if that is the case i think that maybe well Right now, 
Saber and Kiritsugu do, do, do not have a great bond. Maybe well, her and the wife, but not these two together. From what I understood so far, they are spirits. Mm -hmm. They don't have, you know, they're not Saber. They're not Rider. They're, they are spirits. They have identities. Through their master, their master are their masters are gonna summon them, and through the summon, they're gonna basically place them in a category that is gonna grant them abilities. Gilgamesh has the independent action ability because he's one of the three great knights. No, yeah. because he's uh, he's under the category. Was it caster or Arch archer? Archer. Archer. Yeah, caster is the creepy one. Yeah. So he Gilgamesh used to be someone. He's got his abilities, but. He's been summoned under the category Archer, mm -hmm. which grants him abilities and, you know, stuff he can do as Archer, which includes independent action. So maybe Saber, the category Saber and stuff, like the fact that, the, or, I mean, yeah, basically is what makes uh, Arthur unable to go back to spirit form. I think that's, what, that's one of them, yeah. Yeah, so that would explain it. So uh, that's what I get with the connection between masters and summons so far. Uh, the category under which they summoned them granted them abilities that, you know, either allows them to do some great things or uh, hinders them towards mm -hmm. other stuff. So we'll wait and see, you know, if we learn more about the, the link between the two. I don't know if they can influence. I know, I mean... The wife is saying um, she can help Saber, so they can help each other during a fight. Yeah, they can help out. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the firm, the bond can make the bond stronger. can make a, a difference. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm I don't know. I'm hoping maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe I'm right. I don't know. But right now, if that's the case, uh, <laughs> I don't agree. But I think that Ryder and the kid. Have the best relationship. <laughs> like you said, it looked to me like big brother and little brother together. I needs to, yeah, he needs to. Uh, spending time with him will eventually lead to because him having more confidence, maybe. With, with Saber, she's got a great bond, but with the wife, not a master. Yeah, but uh, Gilgamesh is above, above his master, so he doesn't give a shit, like you said. Yeah. Uh, the one with shadows, maybe, they seem to be on the same. The one with shadows? The one with the, uh, the assassins? Well, I... The, the church guy? Last episode, uh, the writer, the conqueror was saying that, you know, summon me more spirits so I can have, you know, people that help me fight the other spirits. Mm -hmm. So, I, I I mean, he can summon many other spirits under the same category as his big spirit, I guess. And that's what he did, uh, which is why they killed the assassin, because doing that, they expect the other masters to be like, oh, okay, so he's out of the race. Uh, we don't have to worry about him anymore, but they don't know he's teamed up with uh, Tokyomi. Yeah. So, since they won't have their eye out for an assassin, considering there's no reason for him to keep fighting if his main fighter is dead, they won't be on the lookout for smaller, lesser assassins. But they're still out there. Mm -hmm. So, those assassins are going to be dangerous, and they're going to be well hidden because he's basically hiding in the fucking church, which is supposed to be neutral ground, but then... Yeah. Eh. I think that's exactly why uh, Tokiomi needed a guy from the church. His father being from the church and being in charge and stuff, he won't let him ha leave him out. Like, he'll, he'll allow him to do his thing. He obviously knows about the fucking spirits. He was there. Yeah. And he knows about the partnership. So this allows them to work in the shadows. Mm -hmm. Why were we talking about this? I forgot what your point was. Oh, uh, the, the bond between the summoners and summons. Okay. Oh yeah, the shadows and stuff. Well, yeah, the, the they are assass servants. The assassins and the guy from the church. Uh, He's allowing them to be of importance considering the assassin that usually is of importance is dead. <laughs> so they get to take his place and... and be bigger assassins, be true, true assassins and truly in the shadows now that they have the perfect cover. Mm. So, they are servants, basically. Okay. So I don't know if we can so, call it that a bond. Not good of a bond yet. Yeah. Maybe the caster uh, spirit and oh, the psychotic uh, They guy. are of a similar spirit. They, hover, they are of a similar, you know, personality. Yeah. So... <laughs> If indeed I was right, and the fact that maybe the bond between the summoners and uh, the spirit could en uh, influence their strength, yeah, they are in deep shit then, because these two are so similar and so happy to work together. If that is a thing, we'll have to wait yeah. and see for the rest. 
In any case, I'm very excited. I did say in the first episode that this show reminds me of a book I read and yeah, a, an unkindness of magicians. Uh -huh. And uh, unkindness of magicians. An unkindness of magicians had its its flaws, but uh, so far the show has all the good points I found in the book. So I'm excited. I love the characters. We didn't see the uncle, right? Uh, not in the last two episodes, no. Still with the buds. I mean, he's trying to survive, I guess. We don't. I don't remember. Did we even see which spirit he summoned? We just. Um, I think he's supposed to be great because his father, you know, pulled some strings, but we didn't see it, so we don't know. Don't know. In any case, we'll see. Maybe next episode. Mm. But uh, we'll we'll have a fight next episode, so I'm excited yeah. for that. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next one right away, it is on Patreon already. You can check it out right now if you want. The link is in the description below. And if you don't, Web of will be out on YouTube, which will be next week, guys. So, see you then. Bye. Bye, guys.